Hi, it's Dr. Steve Weiner, and I'm going to talk to you today about a devastating complication of fillers, which is filler-associated blindness. And unfortunately, it's an increasing problem because we're being more aggressive with our treatments. I'm going to talk to you on YouTube with a very long video in the near future. But for right now, I'm just going to do a short video about how you can decrease your chances in your practice. So there are two great papers by Belesny and Crothers that looked at the literature of the cases reported of visual changes associated with filler. And what they found between 1906 and 2015, that there were 98 cases. And then between 2015 and 2018, in a follow-up paper that was published in 2019, there were 48 cases. So 98 for over 100 years and 48 for three years. So what does that tell you? The incidence is increasing. And that's because we're getting more aggressive in the areas that we're treating with filler. Okay, these dots represent the areas that were injected that caused the blindness. And you can see uh, that it's very heavily associated with the gabella in the early cases. And then it's more associated with the nasal area in the later cases. So there's also a regional predilection for this. And that's not because of people are more susceptible in certain regions. It's because in the Asian countries, they inject more heavily in the nasal and gabella and forehead area. So Korea, China, Thailand, and Taiwan make up the majority of the cases, and this is the latest paper. The U.S. is ever increasing as well because we're starting to inject the nasal area more as well. So what location actually caused the filler-associated blindness? Where was the injection? So in the early paper, that studied everything up into 2015, the gabella was the most common area, 38%, followed by the nasal area and the nasal labial fold. In the most recent paper, which is more relevant to the current trends, the nasal region was the most common cause of filler-associated blindness, with over 50%, followed by the gabella and the forehead, and the nasal labial was less than 15%. And in fact, there were no cases of filler-associated blindness with lip injection. So what does this tell you? First off, that when you add up these numbers, they're over 100%. And that's because these people were injected in more than one area at once, and they couldn't tell what exact injection caused the blindness. Second is, is that if you avoid the nasal region, gabella region, and forehead region, you can reduce the chances of filler-associated blindness by 85%. To me, that's a great figure to avoid a devastating complication. So I do not inject the nasal region, gabella, and forehead area just for those reasons. So those are my tips. I know there's a lot of people injecting nasal areas, and uh, I'm not saying that that's a bad area to inject. I'm just telling you that's a higher risk area, and you have to know your anatomy. 